Today we review the GoPro Session 5, a camera that's been out for two years. Is it a keeper, a sleeper, or a piece of sh Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to Iron Goose Reviews. I'm Charlie. Today's product review is for the GoPro Session 5 little camera, which is no longer available. So why is he doing a review? We'll get to that. But such a cool little camera, I feel compelled to talk about it. Okay, so what is it? It's an action camera that fits literally in the palm of your hand. Measures less than an inch and a half cube. Now there's been a bunch of tiny cameras over the last few years, but not like this one. So what does it do? Well, it's a voice operated 10 megapixel still camera. It's a video camera capable of recording in several resolutions up to 4K with shutter speeds from 24 frames a second to 90 frames a second. Now, not all resolutions and frame rates are available in all modes. Where can you get these? Well, as of today, this is August the 3rd, uh, they're available on Amazon, Big Box Store, uh, Best Buy, etc. Those kind of places, but you better hurry. Prices as of today, August 3rd, 2018, varies from 180 bucks to 200 bucks. So shop around, but be quick about it. So what's in the box? Uh, we got the uh, we got the camera. We got the what I call a cage. It's the it's a mounting uh, it's a mount for it. Uh, USB cable, a curved adhesive mount. Uh, no SD card. You got to bring your own SD card to the party. I got a 32 gig card and this works great and you get a one year warranty. Okay let's take a uh, little closer look at it. Uh, like I said earlier, inch and three eighths by an inch and three eighths more or less. Cube, very dense, I don't know what it weighs but probably maybe a few ounces, four ounces, five ounces, I don't know. Um, it's got a uh, scratch resistant lens on the front which uh, is replaceable. Uh, I have seen those for sale. I think Amazon's got them. Uh, it's got one button on the top and one little button on the back. The one on the back is a power button. Turns the unit on. Flashing cue light on the front when it's recording. It's got a tiny little two lane two line display. You're not going to be able to see that on the camera very good. Yeah. The display, uh, all it's really good for is to verify what mode you're in. GoPro turn off. Like that. It's got uh, one button on top. And if you push that, uh, it's it instantly starts recording. I say instantly, maybe five seconds. It starts recording until you push it again. If you don't push it a second time, it'll record for two hours until the battery craps out. Okay. It's got a uh, little trap door on the side here. It's got a nice heavy duty little latch. Pop that open. Door opens up. Be careful. Kind of fragile. I've heard of guys uh, busting these things. It's got a waterproof seal here. If it wasn't for this seal when it's in the water, you'd be, uh, be wishing you had left that seal alone because that will ruin the camera if water gets inside of here. Inside this little compartment is uh, the micro SD card, Ugh. micro SD card is right here. Uh, it's also got a, a USB-C connector right here. The USB-C you can plug in your uh, regular USB cable and transfer your pictures to your computer, uh, or plug an accessory in. Speaking of accessories, you might notice there's no external microphone jack. Well, you can use an external microphone jack. But you gotta spend 50 bucks on this adapter. 50 bucks. And you can only get it from GoPro. It's proprietary. Uh, in my opinion, this thing should be 15 bucks and available from six different manufacturers. But it's not. Yeah, I don't like that at all. But here, it does work. And you just plug it in there. You can mount this on your tripod or whatever. And this adapter here allows you to plug in uh, an. It's a pass-through cable for your USB-C, uh, or you can plug your microphone in here. So if you have an external uh, little shotgun mic or something, 
you can plug it in right there with this adapter and it works 50 bucks give me a break this is the cage just drop it in there push it all the way back in whoops flip down the lever and it locks it in very secure this is a typical GoPro mount bottom here. All their different accessories, uh, third party and GoPro fit in there. No matter what you're trying to use, tripod mounts, uh, different mounts mounted on a vehicle, mounted on your helmet. Uh, they got chest mounts, uh, all kinds of stuff, just anything you can imagine. Of course those manufacturers are going to be disappointed too because GoPro is uh, discontinuing the line. You know, it's really unfortunate because GoPro could have had it set a standard here. And uh, I guess their standard is a full-size camera. I don't know. They want you to spend three or 400 bucks on a full-size camera when this one will do just great. I won't get started again. Anyway, in a nutshell, that's about it. Um, great camera. Great price. Uh, I'll show you a couple samples. I love the time lapse with this thing. Uh, I'll show you show you a sample here. GoPro, what the hell were you thinking? So let's talk pros and cons. Pros, first of all, it's tiny. We already went over that. Maximum resolution. 3840 by 2160 voice control 12 different voice commands and it works excellent I've never had the voice command fail knock on wood it's got a night mode it's got a one button record on the top it's got a two hour record time it's got auto image rotation if you put it in an upside down or whatever it'll automatically correct it's got time lapse intervals from half a second to 60 seconds per frame time lapse mode Time-lapse mode in video, seven intervals from half a second to 60 seconds. Time-lapse mode in photo, seven intervals, same. Burst mode from three photos in one second to 30 photos in a second. Those are separate photographs that will be on the camera. Resolutions from 720 to 4K. Shutter or frames per second, 24 to 90 frames a second, not available in all modes five field of view settings, stabilization that works, NTSC or PAL, wind noise reduction, waterproof, waterproof to 33 feet. It's got a black rubbery non-slip exterior that feels good in the hand. Built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Okay, uh, going to demonstrate the uh, water resistance, waterproof ability of the camera. Here we go. Turn that on. Walk over here to the waterfall. Okay, let's talk cons. Cons, you need an app to run most of the functions beyond just a normal video recording. But the app is very cool. And it loads in about 30 seconds with links up with your Bluetooth, so you can't complain. And you can't replace the battery. You can't remove and replace the battery. Maybe the factory can, I don't know. There's no viewfinder. And there's no external mic jack. There's an adapter available for 50 bucks, which should be $14.95. That pisses me off. Now GoPro has abandoned the session lineup as of what, July or so of this year? What's the matter, GoPro? Too expensive to build? Does it take business away from your other overpriced models? Think about it this way, folks. 
GoPro session here today, gone tomorrow. Do you really want to invest in another GoPro product? Yeah. So is this a keeper, a sleeper, or a piece of junk? Let's tally up the score. I think you know where this is going. Okay, final score. Quality? Absolutely. Three out of three. Value? Two out of two. Two hundred bucks. I've never had my money spent better on a video camera than this little guy. Durability? Hell, this thing is tough. Uh, there's a video on YouTube. A guy drops it from a thousand feet and it survives fine onto a grass field. There's also a video on there of a young lady that dropped it four feet onto the asphalt and it broke. So, use your own judgment. Documentation, one out of one. Good documentation included and lots of, uh, lots of, and lots of information on the internet. So I absolutely do not hesitate to give this little gem a full 10 out of 10 for the categories mentioned above. But if I had a category for the company's business decision to discontinue this product line, they get a big fat zero thumbs down. I'm taking this kind of hard, did you notice? Face it, GoPro, you screwed up. This is a good place to remind my viewers that this is not a paid endorsement from, from GoPro I almost said goat rope from GoPro, nor did I receive this item at a reduced or no cost. I paid full full price for this camera. Apparently I was pretty lucky to get it. So my summary, this is a super little camera, but if you want one, you better hurry. Once the store inventory is gone, that's it, baby. This little GoPro session with all its amazing abilities will go the same way of the McRib sandwich, the Corvair, the flip video camera, Yosemite Sam, incandescent light bulbs, the Etch-a-Sketch, and Ford automobiles. That's right, Ford automobiles. In two years, 2020, they're no longer going to produce automobiles except the Mustang. They're switching everything, all their production, to trucks and uh, SUVs. Maybe it's a good thing, I don't know. You decide. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.